Hello, welcome to the video. We'll be discussing about two assembly language programs in this uh, short video. The video is being made by group members comprising of me, Ritam Datta, Anay Rajguru, Aditya Pradhan, and Vansh Kumar Kaushik. Before proceeding on to the assembly language programs, Vansh, my friend, will explain to you the setup of how, uh, how to install DOSBox into your systems. Now I will show you how to install DOSBox in your system. There are many sites from where you can uh, um, download DOSBox. One of these sites is shown in this video. You can download DOSBox from this website. Then you have to go to this website and download the exe file from the links given. Then you have to download the zip file and unzip it to the C drive. Then you have to install the software and then write the following three commands. The first command is mount C, C colon slash 8086, which is used to mount the C drive to a virtual drive, C colon to change the directory and edit file name dot ASM to edit into a new file. Now, as we are done with the first program, I, Aditya, will explain the code for the second program, which is a code for block transfer of a string. Here, the string we have taken input is, it's time for a new home. The length of the string is 20 through 23 characters, and we are required to transfer it to a new location. Test mess is a naming for the base address. And here, each character in the string has an ASCII value. For example, space has an ASCII value of 20. Here DB denotes stands for assembler directive which is used for taking input and in the third line DB100 DUP we are allocating 100 duplicates as we are not sure of the size of input till this instruction. In the next instruction we are reserving a new location filled with 23 zeros for the transfer of the string. In the next line data ends, the data segment ends. The next segment is code segment. Here we specify the labels clearly for all the segments. For example, CS code segment is used will be used as code, DS as data and extra segment ES as data. The next section is start. The first two lines of the code move ax comma data move ds comma ax gets us the base address of the data segment. The base address is again stored in second line in ds. In third line move ex comma ax we initialize the extra segment with same base address which is stored in ax. The next instruction LEA SI comma test underscore mess. Here LEA stands for load effective address. It is used for loading logical address of the input. For example, here A of 0, which is the address of I. Hence, we are initializing a pointer to I. In this statement, SI stands for source index register. The next instruction is same as above LEADI comma new underscore LOC. The pointer to the destination location will be returned. It is a pointer where the first character will be stored. In the next line move CX comma 23. We, we input 23 to maintain the count in CX. The next instruction is CLD clear direction flag which is used in combination with repeat move sb sb stand for string byte the above both are used as loop and automatically increment si and di values by 1 at one point cx will be equals to 0 and at that time the program will come out of the loop and here the complete transfer of the string from one location to the new will be done the next instruction code ends denote the end of code segment and the last instruction end start 
denotes the ending of our program. So the explanation of the code ends here and next the output will be explained for this code. Now we will see the execution for the second program. For the first instruction, we have move ds, ax. We see that ax is moved to ds and after the execution of this program, a copy of ax would be moved to ds. For the second instruction, address value in ax is initialized to extra segment whose value currently is 075a but after the execution will be changed to 076a. Now we will initialize the pointer in SI which is currently pointing to the first character i. Now we will initialize the destination index to uh, which is 007b and is the first location to store the result. Now we will check the input for our program. We do this by using the command d ds and the logical address value in SI which is 0000. So here we will see the ASCII value for uh, the, all the characters in our string. Now we will also see the output for our program. We do this by using command D, DS and the destination location which is 007B. Here we will see that the output is initialized to 0 and later we will see how each character, how each 0 is filled with each character. Now we will trace our program. We now see that the value of CX has become 0017 which is the hexadecimal value of 23. We again trace our program. Now we will check again the output of our program. We will use again use the command bds and the destination location which is 007b. Now we will see that the first two characters is moved from source to destination. This is achieved by CLD clear direction flag and repeat move string byte. The combination of these instruction when executed automatically increments SI and DI. Now if we want to run five instructions together we have to use T5. Now, the value of CX has become 0010, which shows that we have run 5 instructions together. This loop will run till CL becomes 0, so that all the characters are moved to the output location. So we will now make the value of CL 0. Now the CL value has become 0, 01. If we again press T, then the value of CL will become uh, 0, 00. Now, if we uh, store the output of the program by using the command D, DS, colon, and the destination index which is 0, 0, 007B, then we can see that the whole string has been moved to the output location. This is the end of the program. Now we will press quit to come out of the program. Now we have presented both our programs and this concludes our assignment. The four members in our team are Ane, registration number 19 BCT 0137 Aditya, the registration number 19 PCT 0155, Ritam Datta, the registration number 19 PCT 0121, and Vanch, registration number 19 PCT 0115. Thank you.